Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Nikita from BISP Solution. In this session, we are going to see how we can create the grade rates in the compensation module and where we can use those grade rates in the compensation. So let's just move on to the application. You have to log in as a HR specialist or implementation user. And then you have to go to the My Client group and here you can find the compensation. Then you have to scroll down and you can also search in the search option. Here you can see the manage grade rates. You can also search existing grade rate by the legislative data group and the name and the grade also. And for the creating new, just click on the create option. Here you have to fill the legislative data group. And then the effective rate is automatically populated here. And we have to fill the grade rate name. Then here under the rate type, you can select for which rate type you are creating this grade rate. You can select the bonus, the overtime and salary. I'm just select, I'm just going to select the salary here. And here you can select the frequency, the annually, the monthly. According to this, the annualization factor changed. Here you can see that monthly. 12 let's select bi-weekly and you select weekly then here you can define the annualization factor here i'm going to select the annually and you can define the currency and you can also define the action reason for your for this compensation now i'm going to click on the add row option here we can add the grade and grades minimum value and maximum value. For example, I'm just going to search here the admin. I'm going to add this one here and define the minimum and maximum value. midpoint automatically populated now i'm going to add one more Then I'm going to add one more. Define the minimum and maximum. And then I'm going to add the last. Then just click on the submit. So where you can use this grade rate. So here I'm going to search the salary basis. Let's click on it. And I'm going to select 
any existing US based salary. So, for example, I just click US one annual salary. Then go to the salary range option. And here you can see the grade rate, right? So, here the grade rate we created, we can add here. So that's how we create the grade rate and we can add the grade rate under the salary basis when we create the salary basis. So I hope this process is clear to you how we can add the grade rate and how we can use that grade rate in the compensation. So thank you so much for watching the video.